Okay, today we're reviewing the Artis 15.6 Pro, a new tablet by XP Pen, which I'm very excited to test. I bought it myself, and if we unwrap the paper, we see a white box. Let's turn it around, and when I open the box, we will find a black foam on top. If we remove that protective foam, we will find the tablet right underneath. It's well protected and it's very cool. So I already removed the protective film uh, glare layer. And if we remove those things, we will find a white box, the standard, the pen, some missing elements, not really missing elements. I removed them for this video to show them later. We find a pen and if we open up the pen, we will find inside about eight replacement nibs in the top that we can find over there and we can use that to nip them out. So if you ever be lost with nibs, you got them there. How awesome is that? So if we screw open the other side, we will find out that there's a pen inside. So the side that we screwed up can be used as a pen holder. While at the same time, right in there, we have a battery free stylus. That is awesome, right? No more drawing with a battery, just battery free. So while we screw things away and put things away, we find out that there is a box with some manual and data, data in it. We will find inside of there, both a driver installation paper, the manual. On top, top of that, we will find the warranty document. We will find a thank you letter. And of course, we will see the cleaning glove inside of there. We also will find a drawing hand shoe uh, glove in there, which is super cool. Uh, I'm not showing that. And we of course have the cables. When putting that away, we will find out that the box is empty and we can get started. You will find uh, three plugs with a adapter in there that you can put in. I also bought myself an extra stand because I didn't like the plastic stand and I just wanted to have something durable and I gotta be honest, I find or think that the plastic stand will go with you for a bit, but not for that long. So the iron stand has a couple of different stances so you can really work on your own angles what you like yourself. There's those grips, it's really sturdy. Uh, not really sturdy, but it's really like strong. It, it's not that, that that weird. And I personally really like the tablet. We can also use the flip to put the, the tablet inside of there, the display, which is awesome. And I think this way it looks amazing and we can work with it. So that being covered, it is time to dive into the tablet review itself. What can the tablet to do? How does things work? And just in general, is this the tablet I will recommend to a new artist or not? And especially for me, out of the perspective of not knowing how to draw, we get, we're going to see. Let's dive in. I'm going to do this review using Avidity Designer, which is pretty much my favorite software out there. I would like to show you guys what I can do or what we can do. I'm not a drawer, and that is where I think this review is going to be more interesting. I work as a 3D artist and I would love to become a better drawer, both 3D and 2D. And when you buy a tablet for the first time, it's going to be very daunting, like what is going to be the right tablet, what is good, what isn't good. And while going through a lot of reviews myself and what others do, I wanted to give a honest review of what you could expect when you start out for the first time. So one of the things you're going to see the first time is if we get over to the pen display. Uh, app, we will be surprised with a nice little app that is from XP Pen that you get after the drivers. I'm not going to dive into the wall setup of this right now. What you but I do want to do is you want to set this up, and I set it kind of up well in the way I like it. Um, and in the second video, if you guys like this video, you know, uh, in the second video, we will do more about setting up the wall tablet through the software, how to use the cables and these kind of things. That's what I want to cover in another video. One of the things I do love to show off is we have express keys here, which are the express keys you have on the left side. So from the dial, the red dial, the 
one low that is going to be K5. I put that on Control uh, Z, which I think is nice to, for resetting. And K4 is all. So these are things you kind of want to uh, look to and maybe work with. So that being said, let's dive in. One of the things I would like to notice is I'm much more of a uh, maybe heavy drawing, someone that clicks a lot. So I had to disable the um, pen buttons because I found out that I was often clicking the eraser or um, the right click and for some reason, um, maybe that's because I'm a new drawer, but what I do think is they might be too pressure heavy and you can click them really easily. Uh, which I definitely will have done else, um, especially for beginning drawers. So let's open up Infinity Design here. So while this is opening up, I'm going to use my document size that I like to work with. So we're going to open a new document. It is pretty as easy as clicking on the screen and you're good to go. So we're going to work with a print. Press OK. So one of the things that I like, if we now use the dial, we can zoom in and we can zoom out, which I think is a really neat kind of way of doing that. Uh, so if you press K8, which is the um, express key that is all the way at the bottom, you can switch between the dial in which you can make things smaller or zoom in. Uh, so this is, this is the standard one by zooming in, but if I press K8 now again, we can go up and down, which is super nice. And if we press that again, it's going to stop and we can't use it anymore. So definitely a really nice feature. So what we want to do, if you're new to Vinity Designer, especially me doing mostly things with Pento, if you're familiar with the channel, um, one of the things that I noticed here is that I had to go to a wall or a tab to properly do the drawing. So one of the things that I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the tab on top, which is the pixel persona. And now we get all sorts of extra tabs, so you can drag them away, like say so. We're gonna move that over here for now, go back into the color. So one of the things that I wanted to notice is that I didn't find out or how that works yet, but that might be Photoshop sensitive or sensitive to some uh, programs is I have no idea how to work properly with the pen pressure. So I will have to do some more research into that, maybe use Photoshop. Uh, to show you guys what that looks like and how that works. So if we press the brush tool, or right over there, we have the brush tool. We can select a hardness in the top. For example, let's go for 50. Um, let's create a new layer. And with the new layer, I'm not, I'm not the best drawer, but let's say we wanted to draw a stick figure. You're all the way into stick figure animation. You will simply go create your stick figure and, and work that out. So you, you're going to have frame one in which your stick figure is ready. Um, in frame two, we would like him to bend his knees a little bit. So what we could do is we could work on the width here, get that, for example, get that, that, that bending in there. So you could do a flip there and at the same time get that other leg. So that's going to be bending a little bit the other way. And then basically have him work. So if you then be like, you know, how do I use the razor? Normally you use the, the top button. In my case, I prefer to go to the eraser and just remove these parts. And I do notice as soon as I go over to the eraser, um, that I accidentally press the buttons. But as I say, this can be something of getting used to your first tablet. Um, for me, definitely, that is something I noticed. So we have a falling guy here. We could make this uh, really easily into my paragraph and then put then a couple lines under there. That will be pretty much your drawing. So what I want to do right now is a wall thing. I'm going to remove with the K5, which I has explained use for resetting. You can hear that it makes a kind of heavy tapping noise. So what, a couple things that I want to try out to basically know how well this works is I want to go try and draw an as straight as possible line here and 
right for example over here this is a jitter there that I made myself but if we for example would use a box right now so we will use a box to quickly create a line that might be as straight as possible we could put that on the screen and create a line against it and to be honest if we zoom out I basically can't see any jitter uh, we might have some over there a little um, maybe over here but this is a damn straight line it is um, it is really well it's really nice do nicely done and I think this is a super 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 good improvement especially for what I've seen of other tablets uh, I've never used them but uh, now using them and seeing how straight it is it's really nice one of the other things that I would like to try out is like quick um, quick lines to see if we can get pen strokes so if we do that start slow we can see that we actually get quite nice lines but I think as soon as we're gonna go progress a little quicker right over here you can see I'm gonna make go much quicker and we get these kind of lines that is not really a thing I think that is also something to do with um, affinity designer because if I take my time to create those lines or I go a little quicker I can create those lines but if I go real quick you will see to or you're well gonna see those lines so uh, definitely something that I will say keep in mind when drawing on your first ever drawing tablet that you um, that the lines are great in terms of build quality of the tablet the quality is super nice it's um, in my case I find it look very premium I like the the logos I would have said the cable management would be a little bit nicer right now I have to have a one cable that goes into my tablet I have three cables or at least two cables that go one is an HDMI and one goes into my computer if I wanted to want to use a the power adapter I also need a third k USB to go in my computer and if you're working on a laptop like me and also want to use a microphone for a tutorial or a review that just doesn't work so if XP Pen is watching it's like you know we want to know more about that I will definitely say um, work on the cable I saw that the artist 22R has an improvement see if you can do that to make an HDMI to USB-C and maybe make one other cable that goes into the power adapter if you wanted to use that but no like no need for that because so, so much cables with a laptop and if you have not that much USB points it's just not working in general what would I think and say about the tablet um, is something that we are going to cover in a second so one other thing that I would like to try out is how does this compare to my standard workflow so if we go back to let's say my standard way and I will use the pen tool you guys all know when you love to do art with the pen tool we could create these lines and I think that looks super amazing uh, it feels nice we could now go and create a reddish color um, fill that in with that reddish color I think that looks super cool and working that way is super nice if we use the um, triangle tool to create a triangle which we then for example wanted to have uh, certain corners or tops I think this looks amazing um, I don't have like like a feeling that this is gonna be a tablet you are gonna um, you're only gonna buy if you don't have a budget I think this stacks up really nice against other tablets so now that we have talked about what a tablet can do with strokes it's just in general the tablet I think we have a super good idea of what this tablet can do for me as having my first ever tablet I uh, wanted to really get into drawing as a 3d artist getting better in my 3d art sculpting a seabrush it's gonna be easier and I would definitely want to do a 2.0 review somewhere later in the year when I got some more experience and say then how it stacks up against maybe other devices that I've been using or other things. In terms of a tablet, I would definitely recommend this as a tablet in your lineup. 
In fact, I'm going to make a website in which I'm going to put this um, tablet as my first tablet on the top of my list. And I think it's going to stay up there. It's a super good tablet. The size is amazing. I had the little oof moment because I wanted to take this to work and it just didn't fit into my backpack. But it is an amazing tablet and I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Whether the pricing is fair or not, I got it with Valentine's Day, so I only paid about uh, $320, $330 um, against the $400, but I think it's definitely worth the $400. In terms of a direct competitor against this tablet, I will say you could either go for the Wacom Cintiq 16 or even the 16 Pro. Well, the 16 Pro has a 4K display. I think that this tablet stacks up really nice against that. And either for a beginner, a beginning artist, or what I've known from and heard from other artists that I know that work with the tablet, this is really the tablet for you to get started with. Um, that doesn't take away that you always can look to what other products are out there and what they do. Um, but I think XP Pen is getting there. It's getting quicker to what Wacom does, where where they are standing. Uh, compared to, for example, an iPad Pro or any of these devices, I would really prefer an XP Pen over a um, iPad Pro. But this is definitely because I'm a 3D artist and I need to work in Blender, ZBrush. It's just not there for iPad. Uh, well, it's possible with the extra monthly cost, but for this, it's, this is amazing. So, if you like this review, make sure you, you know, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I hope there's definitely going to be more reviews. If you like those reviews and you would like to see more, make sure to comment it in the description. Let me know, like, hey, Guru, I would like to see more reviews, more reviews of XP Pen, maybe of other uh, providers. Let me know. I would love to do that. This was me, Guru, for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and let's dive into more artist stuff over the days and have fun.